I hope you enjoy this Christmas draw along. Perhaps you could use the drawings to make your own Christmas cards. I don't think there's anything nicer than a homemade card. Shall we start off by drawing Santa? First thing I'm going to draw is a sort of a sausage shape like that. That is the bottom of his hat. And then I'm going to draw the top bit of his hat. It's a pointy hat, isn't it? So on the point, I'm going to add a bubble there. Now I'm going to draw his beard and I'm going to draw a line made up of curved lines that goes all the way around from one side of his head to the other. That is the outline of his beard. And then here I'm going to draw a horseshoe shaped nose and then I'm going to add a moustache and the moustache is made out of two halves one half here and one half here and then I'm going to add two curvy lines going down to touch the moustache one there and one there to finish off his beard so we've got his moustache and his beard I'm going to add two eyes. I like to draw dots for eyes. You can draw eyes however you like. And then I'm going to add some nice thick eyebrows. Next, I'm going to give him a smiley mouth that almost disappears underneath his big moustache. And what else do I need to add? I need to add some ears. So one ear there and one ear there. And there we have a jolly Santa for you to colour in. Um, we all know what colour Santa's clothes are, don't we? They're red and white. And I might give him jolly rosy cheeks as well. OK, how about drawing a reindeer next? So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to draw two reindeer ears and join them together with a straight line. Then I'm going to draw a longish face for my reindeer, like that, and an oval shaped nose right in the middle. And then uh, the reindeer needs two eyes. Again, you can do whatever kind of eyes you like. You might like to draw big shiny eyes or eyes where you can see the, all the details, like the eyelashes. I do like to draw dots for eyes, so I'm going to do two dots like that. And I'm going to add some eyebrows. And then a smiley mouth. OK, what's the next thing we need to draw on our reindeer? We need to give it some antlers, don't we? So uh, antlers are a bit like the branches on a tree, aren't they? So I'm going to try and draw one antler on this side with lots of little branches on it like that. And then I'm going to try and draw another antler on the other side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make it a very similar shape to the one on the left. So I'm going to try and make the branches stick in the same places. It's quite tricky, but have a go and see if you can make your antlers symmetrical. So they're almost symmetrical, aren't they? Not too bad. OK, now it's time to give the reindeer a body. So I'm going to draw a straight line for its back and give it a little tufty tail and a straight line for its bottom end. And I'm just going to add a little line here at the front. Now, the reindeer needs some legs, doesn't it? So I'm going to draw two quite thin legs at the front. Now can you see I'm drawing little hoof shapes at the bottom and then I'm going to go to the back and I'm going to draw two more legs. One, two, with little hoof shapes on the bottom and that's left me enough room in the middle to draw the reindeer's tummy. What else can we add? We can add a collar for a bit of interest. And you can put any pattern you like in the collar, but I'm going to draw some zigzags. They'll be fun to colour in later. And I'm just going to draw lines across the legs here to make those hooves a bit hoovier. And what else? Oh, I know. I'm just going to add 
a little bit of shadow so that my reindeer doesn't look like he's flying in the sky but like he is standing on the ground. And there is a reindeer to colour in. So here's my coloured in reindeer in different shades of brown with a red and yellow collar. But there aren't any rules about colouring in so if you want to make your reindeer really jazzy colours, why not? OK, next up, let's have a go at drawing a robin. So I'm going to draw a curved line like that for the robin's head. And then I'm going to give the robin a nice round tummy with a curved line going to about there. And another curved line here for the robin's back. We're going to turn that into a wing. So I'm going to add a row of feathers here. And then I can add a tail with more feathers at the end of it here. So we've drawn a head, a tummy, a wing and a tail. Right, what next? Um, I think we'll draw two eyes up here and a beak on the side, like that. OK, now some legs. I'm going to draw one leg that bends like that and add three toes at the front and the little toe at the back. And then do another bent leg like that. Three toes at the front and one at the back. What colour is a robin? Well, it's brown with a really lovely red breast and just underneath its tail there's a little patch of white. OK, now let's draw a cracker. So I'm going to draw an oblong shape like this, but an oblong with curved corners. Can you see? And then I'm going to draw a curvy line that turns into a straight line here and one here too and two more on this side so a curve that then goes into a straight line they're the pulling bits of the cracker and then I'm going to add a straight line there and a straight line there to get my cracker shape if you do a few little lines here and here that is where the two ends are twisted round to make it extra cracker-like and then I'm going to just draw some straight lines coming down like that and also in the middle and now I can have fun colouring in my cracker and thinking of some really nice shapes and patterns to put on it. How about drawing some holly next? Start off with some nice big berries and then draw the leaves. Now the way I like to draw leaves is to do one, two, three, four curvy lines. It's one, two, three, four curvy lines coming back like that. That's one leaf. One, two, three, four curvy lines and then four more. One, two, three, four curvy lines coming back to make those holly leaf shapes. And then a line that almost goes to the end of each holly leaf but not quite and one two three lines here three lines here and the same on this side one two three lines three more little lines to make the leaves and well what color is holly it's red and green isn't it but can you see I've left a little bit of white on each of the berries to make them look nice and shiny let's finish off with a Christmas elf. Start off by drawing what well, looks a bit like a crown, doesn't it? That's the, the bottom of its cap. And two little lines there. And some elf shaped ears, which are quite pointy. Okay, and then give your elf quite a pointy chin, like that. And a pointy nose. And some eyes and some eyebrows and of course a nice smiley mouth. 
Okay, let's finish off that hack because he looks like a king at the moment. But if we add a bit like that, that turns him into an elf, doesn't it? Bobble on the end. And neck. And special collar, which is made out of pointy bits like that. Right, what should we draw next? We'll draw one arm going this way and one arm going this way. And then we're going to draw two lines sloping downwards like that to his waist and then two lines going outwards like that to make his top. And add a buckle and a belt there. Right, give him some hands, a thumb and four fingers in that hand and a thumb and four fingers in that hand. And one leg going that way. You can draw the legs any way you like, but I'm going to draw my elf sort of hopping around. So I've drawn two legs like that. And then I'm just going to add boots on the end of either foot. Like that. Like I say, you can draw your elf in all sorts of positions. What shall I do? Oh, I know. I'm going to add a little bit of shadow here. And... There is Christmas Elf. Now, if you want to make a girl elf, you could add a bit more hair, couldn't you? How about two uh, plaits like this with ribbons? And just a little bit of hair either side there. There you are, a girl elf. You choose whether you want to draw a girl or a boy elf, or maybe you could draw one of each.